Is there anything quite as refusing as being in a place of solitude? Where we get a chance to disengage from the socials, the daily duties, the hustle and bustle of the streets and just breathe. This is peace. Join me for the next few minutes as we draw inspiration from the word and activate the power in prayer. How far is your hiding place? When you feel unrest in your heart, where do you run first? Who do you consult? When I leave here, I head back into my worries, back into my fears. I leave from this peaceful place where I feel relieved from all anxiety and return to the world stained with the stint of sin. But then, even here, there is no hiding. Even here, as peaceful as it seems, is not perfectly peaceful because Although around me there is peace, within there is a whirlwind. So with what's happening on the outside compounded by what's happening on the inside, how can I know perfect peace? Isaiah gives us the answer. He says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you, trusts in the Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. I just love Isaiah's message here. It's so simple yet profound. He says, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. This teaches me a few things. One, that his hiding place will always be available. Two, that this hiding place is unmovable and last. Since this hiding place is with God, I don't have to travel any place remote because he is with me always. In establishing this drug, Isaiah also shares with us the secret to perfect peace. When he says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. It couldn't be clearer than that. Perfect peace is only accessible to those who take Christ at his word and surrender their souls to his keeping as well as their lives to his ordering. Only then will they find peace and quietude only as we realize that nothing of the world can make us happy. Nothing else but Jesus and his presence. In perfect acquiescence, there is perfect rest. Desire of Ages, page 331. But with the trials in my life, how do I stay focused on God? When the world is in limbo because of the shadow cast by COVID, how can I keep him only in view? It's very simple. Trust him. Why not trust God again? Put your trust in Jesus, our everlasting rock, brethren. This trust must be solid. It cannot be based on how we feel in a particular moment or where we are. We must choose to trust Him no matter the circumstance we are in, no matter the place that we find ourselves. Then and only then can He give us perfect peace. Will you choose to put your trust in Him right now? As we pray for these few things, now, for our prayer focus, please join me in praying for these few things. Let's pray for our church members who are learning how to share their hope in a way that is relevant to the secular postmodern world today. Let us also pray for workers who will use Christ's method to meet needs and reach to the hearts of people living in cities around the world. Let's also pray for those who are in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis, who are either struggling themselves or have loved ones who are struggling with the illness. And lastly, let's pray for peace for church members around the world who are fearful and afraid and who are feeling alone. Won't you join me in praying? Father in heaven, we lift our thoughts and our hearts towards you, confident in the words that you penned through Isaiah, that once our mind is stayed on you, Lord, once we are fixed on you, it doesn't matter what's taking place around us. The storm may be raging, our ship may be threatened to overturn, but we can rest, Lord, because you are there with us in the eye of the storm. Lord, continue to move with us, Lord, as we navigate these uncharted waters. Help us to maintain our faith in you to use these times that we have available in devotion to connect and to 
feed our souls on your goodness then and only then lord can we know and experience the perfect peace that lies in knowing that we have a friend in jesus and our bomb in gilead continue to bless us now lord be with our prayer requests and i pray that you may do as you will and that your name will be glorified continue to bless us now lord in jesus name we pray amen thanks for joining us if you have been inspired by this video drop us a comment also like share and subscribe to our youtube channel press the notification bell to never miss a post too and follow us on all our social media pages at Shorted SDA Church. Have a wonderful day. God bless you and be a blessing.